If you're into scuba diving, you've probably heard of Koh Tao. Divers have been coming here for decades, drawn in by its massive schools of fish, pretty reefs, and whale sharks. However, if you leave the reef, what's there? That's what we wanted to find out. A bunch of friends, dive professionals, and underwater camera shooters deciding to head out and explore. Destination? No, no, not there. That's much better. Sand and muck, here we come. Let me explain what the muck actually is. First of all, it looks like the moon. Well, parts of it does. Some areas are more busy, colorful. Fields of purple soft corals, anemones, algae. And on this particular algae lives Sean. In 2018, a friend of mine published this book about local nudibranchs, where he describes a total of 134 species of nudies living in the waters around the island, a number that has since grown. Many of these species were found out here in the muck. Spotting them is a different matter entirely. While some species are colorful, a warning to predators of their toxins, others are extremely well camouflaged, which makes them a challenge to find. Add to that, some of them are no larger than a few millimeters in size. But let's get back to Sean. You might be thinking this is a name that I've given this little guy, but we called him Sean the Sheep for perhaps obvious reasons. He's about the size of a grain of rice and spent most of his day feeding on his delicious host algae. Other species of nudie grow much bigger, like this one that I like to call Magnum. Magnum is a solar-powered nudie. Due to his diet of soft corals, he's able to uptake the algae living within the coral, which continues to carry out photosynthesis. Because of this, Magnum lives life in shallower waters where more light can penetrate. If we head deeper into the muck, we find a rather different looking pair of nudies sharing the same space. On these tiny branches of a hydroid, this stunning animal finds its food. But it's not alone. On a different branch, we find another little creature. This one, far better camouflaged. But other things than nudies live in the muck. On the same hydroids, we can find various types of shrimps. These translucent ones are rather common. However, with some luck, you might be able to find a pair of saw blade shrimps. These unique looking animals are quite the rare find. Shrimps are some of the most common animals found out here, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. But no species is as numerous, and perhaps as varied, as the mantis shrimp. While their colors and size might vary, they all have one thing in common, they are ferocious hunters. Striking their prey at incredible speeds, they never see it coming. But perhaps even more impressive is their eyes. Mantis shrimp have the best eyesight on planet Earth, allowing them to see in a wide spectrum of lights, including X-ray. Another colorful shrimp, highly rare for the region, is the tiger shrimp. Rarely spotted in the muck, these shrimps are usually found in pairs. There we go. Where there are shrimps, you'll find crabs. These animals often fill similar roles in the ecosystem, with crabs being just as varied and colorful. But few are perhaps as striking as these zebra crabs, found living on the spines of sea urchins. In the landscape as barren as this, anything that stands out will be taken advantage of. These bare bottles are usually homes to octopus, fish, or mantis shrimps. Discarded fishing nets and rope often become a haven of life in the muck. These burfish like to take full advantage, but their stunning eyes somewhat give them away.
frogfish can be mostly found living on the sponges that often gets tangled up in nets. Seahorses are always looking for good places to hide, so it's not uncommon to find them near nets. Oh, how they love playing dead. A close relative of seahorses, the sea moths can be found crawling along the ocean floor. The muck is full of fish that has adapted to walking. They all spend most of their lives at the sea floor, but still retain the ability to swim. Some of the most colorful ones are these tiny dragonettes. The muck is however home to other weird fish too, like the stick pipefish. Many of these fish species are not found on the reef, but live their lives almost exclusively out in the muck. The pygmy squid also lives out here, that is, if you're able to find it. This species is tiny, with the individuals we found being a few centimeters in length. Last, but not least, the Blue Ring Octopus. While being no larger than the size of a golf ball, with one bite, their venom can kill up to 26 adult humans. Luckily for us, they're quite chill.